This was not planned. Um, I was just sitting on my couch enjoying my Friday, getting some work done, and I get a notification that Lore has posted a new video. And it's one of the hardest videos I've ever had to watch. I don't, I'm not friends with Lore, but I've met her, and so I know how kind of a person she is. And the things that she described in that video are disgusting. Like, I'm just flabbergasted that, it's just, wow. Um, I'm gonna link Lore's video below, um, but I am gonna talk about it. I guess you could call this a reaction. Um, I'm not gonna play any of Lore's video because you need to go watch it and experience the terror for yourself. But she was talking about her experience at G Anime and the con chair. And I I was in I've been involved with running a small convention in the Midwest for several years. Uh, we didn't have a con chair system when I was there. There were just executives, a board of executives that were all equivalent standing. I was an executive for a couple of years. Um, but the things that she describes this con chair doing are are appalling. They're horrible. Like I, I can't even imagine one of the executives of of my of my home convention. It's not I don't run it anymore. It's not mine. Um, I can't even imagine one of the executives behaving the way that he did. Um, she shows a clip of him basically harassing Tyler of Scarfing Scarves and it's it's gross. Like it appears to me that he doesn't realize that she kind of plays a character and he's like trying to participate in her jokes. I I don't get it. It it's it's so disgusting. It's so gross. And even though Lord doesn't talk in detail about what her friend Ditto had to go through, like what he said to her, I I can't even imagine what he said. I I mean, for her to have the reaction that she did, it had to have been awful. I mean, what Conchair treats their staff appallingly. I suppose this hits home for me because I'm both a Lolita and the Lolita community and conventions have frequently been, I don't want to say it because. at odds, but the Lolita community has basically been exploited by a lot of conventions and a lot of people who run conventions and it needs to stop. Like seriously, we are people and we don't exist for you. Right? I, I'm just so upset. Ah! I was gonna film a fun video about my cats today, and here I am talking about some Canadian guy that harassed two of my favorite YouTubers, and the part of it that hit me the hardest was when Lore, Lore blamed herself, and apologize to Tyler, feeling responsible for Tyler being there and Tyler having to go through what she did. And it's just so sad that that Laura feels responsible for the actions of another person. Like I get where she's coming from. I've had situations where things have happened to my friends and, and I feel responsible for putting them in that situation. But she had no way of knowing that this creep was going to be a creep. I mean, seriously, who goes to a convention as a guest and expects the con chair to, like, chide them and lecture them? It's just, it's gross. And I don't know how G-Anime runs their stuff, um, but if they have the ability to vote this guy out of power, like, please do it. Do something, because... His his behavior is both unprofessional and very troubling, frankly. 
Um, I cannot imagine being a guest at a convention that is so... I just, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. Ugh. I guess I'm also kind of bothered because, like I said, I'm not friends with Lore. I don't know her, like, on a personal level, but I have met her, and she's one of the most genuine, sweet people ever. Like, what you see on camera is what you get in real life, and I just can't imagine somebody feeling like they can take advantage of her or be cruel to her or think that they somehow are entitled to more of her attention than everyone else. Like, I would love to be able to talk to Lore on a regular basis, but that's because I respect her. This guy wanted to boss her around, right? And if he wanted to communicate with her, like Lore pointed out, he had he had perfect means of communicating through her, her business email. Like, it's not complicated. You don't get special access to guests because you're the con chair. Like, step down, dude. You're not so important. I'm upsetting Gilly. He knows I'm upset. Oh, baby. You won't let mama hold you. You'll get upset. You won't let mommy hold you, but you might let me pet you. No, no. I just... Oh man, and I may have started, I may have poked the hornet's nest. Um, Laura's video is public though, so there's no way it's not going to get passed around the internet, and there's no way this guy wouldn't see it. Um, but I was just so irritated. Here I am slamming my broken handle, my broken hairbrush handle on my desk. I was just so frustrated. I keep unpausing Laura's video. I'm, I just watched it and I came in here and I was like, I have to get these feelings out of me. But I, you know, I think that this guy is gross and disgusting and he needs to be excised from the convention community. Like, for real. Um... People have been going after, you know, Anime Matsuri. Um, recently, Vic Mignana, which you can feel however you want. I've always disliked the guy for many, many reasons. Mostly involving being on a mailing list for convention, for convention planners that um, aired some of his dirty laundry many years ago. Um... But I mean, guys like this, and like I'm sure you've heard of Ryan Kopf if you live in the middle Midwest. And I don't want to say anything that he's allegedly done because I went to college with this guy and I know him sort of. And he was on staff at our convention for a while and I was involved in getting him blacklisted from that convention. Um, so I know some things that I probably can't say because he's pretty sue happy. But people like him and this con chair who, Lore is an angel for not naming the guy. Um, so I don't know his name. I would not have been so kind, frankly. Um, but I just, I'm sick and tired of people, primarily women and girls of the Lolita community, being exploited and being walked all over. I mean, for God's sake, we dress like Victorian dolls, but we aren't dolls. Like, we're people. And we don't exist for your amusement or your entertainment. And it's, I just hate, just hate it all. I just, I hate it so much. And I feel so many feelings. Um, I did film an actual video that I am in the midst of editing. Um, but this is... An impromptu sort of reaction. Um, go watch Lore's video. I'm sure most of you already have, since she has a much bigger following than me. Um, and if you want to get in touch or rant or I don't know something, I like talking to people when I'm upset. Uh, my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are in the description. Um, I also have a Patreon, but don't feel obligated to contribute to that. 
I have a job. It's just sort of there for future future endeavors. Because I would like to spend more time on my videos. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just grossed out and disgusted. And I hope this guy gets what's coming to him. I don't wish violence or anything upon him. I just hope that the staff of GAnime, whatever, however their convention is organized, power structure-wise, I hope there's some mechanism by which the staff can vote him out of power or something because this is unacceptable. And I'm just some girl in the middle of frozen, frozen Michigan ranting at a camera. I probably already said camera. I don't know. I'm so upset. I like cannot get my thoughts together. Oh my gosh. I'm, I've like encountered people like him and how like gross they are and manipulative and I just, I can't. Um, I'm really excited to meet Tyler at Paradiso. I hope she still decides to come. Um, I, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like we need to protect our own and when stuff like this happens, we have to speak out and do something and um i don't i don't know what else to do but speak my piece so thanks for watching this impromptu messy unedited reaction video and i hope to see you guys again soon under much better circumstances <laughs>